On the previous episodes of Restored, we purchased this 1976 AMC Pacer for only $300. Uh, once we got out there to look at it, she was definitely super rough. I mean, all the interior was ripped out of it. There was wires everywhere. We had no idea if this car would ever even run again. Uh, me and Dad were fortunate enough to get her up and running though. We kind of drove it around the lot once or twice and decided we'd go ahead and tackle the brakes to see if we can make it on home to the shop with it. Uh, so once we got that accomplished, we hit the roads. We only made it about a mile up the road before she started screaming at us and the car was completely overheating. Uh, we decided there was no choice but to go back to where we started. And that leads us to this episode to where we're going to dig into it a little deeper, see if we can diagnose what's making it get hot, and see if we can actually get it back to the shop this time. With us approaching a huge milestone of 50,000 subscribers, uh, we thought we'd celebrate by giving this old girl away or your choice of $500 cash. So all you have to do is be sure that you're subscribed to this restored channel and leave a comment below that simply says subscribe. Now we will be offering up new merch which will grant you 10 extra entries into this. So be sure to hang out to the end of the episode to see how to do that as well. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Well guys, we're back out here with part three on this old AMC Pacer. Uh, we're really hoping that this is gonna round up the series of videos on trying to get this old girl back to the shop. If you saw the last episode, uh, we got her running pretty good. I headed down the road about a mile and she ended up overheating on us. So after we kind of examined it a little bit more, uh, we feel like our problem is gonna be right here into this water pump. So we've got a new water pump. We're gonna go ahead and replace that water pump, uh, new thermostat, new thermostat housing and all that stuff. Uh, we'll pull off this radiator here, uh, try to pump some water through it just to see how stopped up it is. Uh, now on this video, I'm kind of lone wolfing it today. A lot of you people know that dad still works part-time for the city of Bogota. Uh, so unfortunately he had to take off and do some work for them. So I got Christian out here, gonna have her help me turn a few wrenches, see if we can get this water pump pulled off, see if she runs a little cooler and hopefully, hopefully, get her back to the shop today. Well, I figure first thing we want to do is go ahead and check that oil. We want to make sure that nothing didn't get no blown head gasket or anything like that. Make sure no water's in the oil. Let's pull it out and it'll look. Now it looks fine. So sometimes once they get too hot, it'll blow a head gasket and you'll get water off in the oil. So right. that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and start pulling this radiator off here. If you want to grab a flat blade screwdriver mm -hmm. and we'll start. Uh, actually, there should be a little bucket over there. Uh -huh. Let's try to drain any kind of water that may still be in here out. Okay. Where do I do that at? It'll be up front here. Okay. So if you want to start taking them up loose, just all yep. them. Let's see if I can find them. Switch my spots here. Should be a drain plug down here somewhere. I doubt there's anything left in it, but nope, not much. Not much. If you want to keep messing with them, I'll pull these hoses loose. And okay. We'll have to take this shroud off right here too. Okay. All of them need to come off? Yep. So luckily this thing didn't get hot enough to you know, mess up anything terribly bad, it doesn't seem. Uh, there's no water in the oil, which is a great sign. That's what you always want to kind of check first when one overheats on you. Make sure it didn't blow the head gasket. It could crack a block. I mean, there's all kinds of different things that could go wrong on it, but hopefully this one just got a little warm because of the water pump or thermostat or a radiator we don't know we'll find out as we start digging in more and more here is that a different size one uh i think it might sure. be yeah a little smaller yeah. so they're not that might be a three eighths get this hose off i'll be able to see 
yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of trash up in there. I bet this radiator's gonna be somewhat stopped up. Never thought when you volunteered to be a camera girl <laughs> We put you to work like this, didn't you? Right. A little bit of water still coming out of this uh, radiator here, but I think most of it. I think we're steamed out. All good. To go. Yes, that should come off. Set to the side. I got a little wire there. Wow. Oh. Yeah, if you want to just set that somewhere yeah. with them bolts, where we won't yeah. lose it. So this is going to be our radiator we're trying to get out of mm -hmm. here. Be a hose on the bottom and a couple transmission lines we'll have to break loose. So if you want to get me that flat blade screwdriver there, yep. I'll try to take this hose loose down low here. Dad looked out on this one, didn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we can get her going. I know they got a lot more road construction going on today, so it'll be interesting. Oh yeah. Stopping and praying. <laughs> yeah. Seeing how she does. Mm-hmm. Definitely put it to the test here. If you wanna, I'll show you. Yep. If you wanna pry at this little uh, hose here uh -huh. from up top, yeah. I'm gonna pull it loose from the bottom. Oh, Ooh. well, what in the world? What is this? <laughs> what are these things? Acorns? <laughs> what is that? Acorns. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, the radiator is definitely gonna have some trash in it if it's got acorns in it. <laughs> A whole bunch of them at, the, at yeah, there's that. At least, yeah, there's at least 12 of them that dropped down there. <laughs> Good green. Thing you weren't laying down, they might have knocked you out coming out. <laughs> I thought they were big old ball bearings or something <laughs> at first. Let me grab a wrench and we'll take loose those two lines right okay. there. Transmission right. lines. Hopefully those won't break coming off. Come on. There we go. Got one of them. Got that bottom one loose? Got the bottom one, yeah. Top one, that was pretty tight. So hopefully this radiator is salvageable and we can, uh, once we get it off, take it somewhere. Uh, I don't know that they've got any, any place here. We can try to flush through this, but we'll uh, try to flush it flush it out and make sure everything's flowing through it the way it needs to be. So you drew first blood. Yeah, Dad wasn't here, so uh -huh. I'm trying to, trying to make up for him. <laughs> trying to figure out where it's I coming from. I don't know from. where it's coming from. It's got all over here, too, I mean. <laughs> well, if I, I may end up losing too much <laughs> blood and you have to oh, finish gosh. this on out yourself. I get hungry, I'll just roast those acorns. <laughs> All right, this shit. So this will get our radiator out of here. I hear it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab that bucket. Yeah. One step ahead of you. Let's try to dump it out right here. No more acorns, just a lot of nastiness. If you want to go and try to find something you can lean this up against. Okay. It ain't too heavy. Uh, All right, now we got the radiator out of the way. Get to everything a whole lot easier on this water pump. Let's 
Sounds a little dry. Honestly, the belt's a little loose. I might want to look into getting me a belt for this thing. Had to adjust this power steering pump, I guess, to get this belt off here. Figure out which way it goes. All right, Christian, so mm -hmm. this right here, yeah. this fan, mm -hmm. and this pulley that goes to our water pump is behind this pulley right here. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna have to do is get all this, all this off. We're gonna have to pull this belt off. Mm -hmm. So it runs to this power steering pump. There'll be some adjustment screw, or some adjustment bolts so we can get this belt off. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start pulling all this other, other stuff off here. So okay. uh, now I'm just trying to figure out where this, this pump adjust at. And, Get it off. Can't really see well. Hmm. I'll go ahead and pull this upper hose here. Where'd that screwdriver go? Uh, right here. Over here, where I can get a good yank on her. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. goodness! Yeah. It's stopped up completely solid. So there was no, you see that? Mm-hmm. There was nothing running through that thermostat. Nothing. Where's that screwdriver again? Right there. Uh, right. Man, I've never seen one that bad. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. It's gross. Yeah. Whew, let's just hope that the inside of the motor ain't like that right hopefully that thermostat kind of kept it from allowing most of that to get back up in there so yeah that's why she got <laughs> hot folks there's no way that water was circulating around in there that same with that one too. yep and it was stopped up on both ends wow Go grab you a wrench. You spray yeah. that down with some WD-40. I'll grab you okay. a wrench. There we go. Oh, <laughs> got it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull off this thermostat housing, so we can see what it looks like down inside there, guys. Coming? Mm-hmm. Slowly but surely. Hopefully we got all the right um, parts as far as the water pump goes. Once we get this pulled off, we can kind of compare them a little better because you really can't see how that water pump is designed. Way it's up inside there. Okay. Got it? Yep. Let's see. Where'd you put your bolt? Just up here somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Can't really tell how that thing. These are gonna be a little harder to get at. Goodness. A lot tighter too. Using WD-40? Nah, it is tight. Let me get over where you're at where I can get a good pull on it. Okay. This should allow this pump to move a little bit get this belt off here. Really don't give you room to get them bolts out though. <laughs> I think this little back of here has got to come off. Yep. Yep, there we go. Oops. 
finally. Just needs to come a little ways. All we gotta do is get the belt on. Right. up a new belt. Oh yeah. Let's get that out of the way now. If it's in the same shape as all the rest, then I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. I'll get this off and then we'll get back to that and find my half inch. Not every socket, but half an inch. We'll be able to look inside of this, um, the head of this motor once mm -hmm. we get this off to see how nasty it looks. Oh man, pretty bad in there too. So I got the thermostat out, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is, there is some dirt and stuff up inside there. I really need to flush this out out here somehow. Just don't think there's any kind of running water or anything. Well, but just right there at the beginning, though, it doesn't feel too bad further up in there. I'm gonna try to get this fan out of the way. It's okay. aggravated me enough, so should be able to get this half inch. Uh, let me see if I can do this. I'll just have to hold this blade and then I'll go around as we can. this out of the way at least it won't mm -hmm. be <laughs> trying to cut your hand every time this yeah. or something in the way of everything Yeah. We'll just uh, set this inside of the core. Okay. Just be sure that the uh, none of the bolts or anything fall out. Of fall it. out. Yeah. Okay. Get it out of the way. It'd be a lot easier to mess with some of this stuff. See it a little better, anyways. There we go. I'll let it take off and fly away. <laughs> there we go. Belt's out of the way now. Alrighty. So we're down to, uh, we got the belt off, or got the pulley and the belt loose, the fan off. Um, thermostat housing's off, thermostat's out bottom side was pretty rough inside is <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> terrible terrible I don't know what this stuff even is I don't know if someone has put something in the coolant system before to try to stop a leak or or if this is all <laughs> done by an animal but there was nothing circulating through anything there so I'm gonna pull out these bolts for the water pump mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see what it looks like inside there. Break them loose here and let you go ahead and okay. 
pull them on out. Not going too bad so far, other than just seeing the scariness of what's inside of everything. Start working on them. I'm gonna grab that other water pump, see how many bolts it even looks like it has. four bolts. There you go. There you go. Try to keep them together. We'll put them all right here. Honestly, don't know. Um, I mean, obviously it was stopped up right here, one of the ports, but the water pump might have been still trying to work, but it couldn't because there was no place for it to to flow. So, but regardless, she's getting a new one now. There's a little water. Well, doesn't look as bad as that thermostat did. Mm -mm. Pretty nasty on that fan blade, but. Not too bad inside the block there. So that's a good thing. Let me get out of your way. I think most of all the gunk was just built up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little bit that's kind of inside this water pump. I'm thinking maybe someone might have tried to run something through this, or I don't know what all the gunk is inside the thermostat housing there, but. Luckily, it looks like it was mainly just in the housing. There was a little bit up inside the head here, but uh, I ran my finger, I can run my finger inside there, and it's not so bad. It's mainly just a little bit right at the front, and the water pump housing hole there, it's not really bad at all. So, typically, we would try to flush this out, but being that we're in no nowhere land, <laughs> and no hoses around here that I see, we're just gonna try to throw her back together and hope for the best, I guess. So up inside of this thermostat housing, it was just packed full of just all kinds of, I don't know what you wanna even call it. Uh, the radiator had some acorns that fell out when we loosened off the bottom hose on it. Uh, but luckily on this water pump, it doesn't look too bad inside of the block there. So typically we would want to go ahead and flush this system out up here. Uh, but being that we really don't have access of any way of doing that, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Once we get back to the shop, uh, we can flush it all out the way we need to. I'm not going to run a thermostat in it. I went ahead and bought one, but I think I'm just going to not run a thermostat in it. Uh, put this new water pump on there. Put the radiator on there. Put some coolant in it. Hopefully see if it's circulating now. Obviously it wasn't before. It, maybe it just looked like it was to us. So we'll get this all cleaned up, put the new water pump on there, new thermostat housing, hook some hoses back up to it, fill it up, crank her up, let her test a little bit longer and see what she does. So I got this little scraper. If you wanna just kinda clean that up right there, mm -hmm. like that best you can. That way, whenever you put the new one on there, it's got a good seal on everything. We'll have to do it down here where the water pump goes on, too. Just get it the best you can there. I've got a little wire brush if we need it. Some shop towels. I'll grab some shop towels. I'm going to make sure that that water pump looks to be the same. Just 
some towels. You can try to wipe it off. You want me to get over that. here too? No, just just right here where it's the flat side. Okay. It's right where the thing bolts onto it. look the same to me. A little bit different design on the fan, but other than that, should bolt in the same. Cool. You got it? I think so. <laughs> Good paperweight. Mm -hmm. See these towels, wipe it off. We'll go ahead and put the water pump back on there okay. first. Did you get down here on this one? No. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get it real okay. quick. It's pretty clean down here. Yeah. I think I left, uh, so I'll have to grab that gasket and uh -huh. that silicone, is it still, or that RTV, that stuff I bought at the store this yeah. morning. You want to grab it? I think I left yeah. it in the truck. Yeah. Maybe. So she's got it pretty much cleaned up here on the thermostat housing and down here on the water pump. Uh, we're going to put that new gasket on that pump, bolt it in place, and go ahead and throw that housing on there. Shouldn't be too bad. Here you Alright. Alrighty. So what we're gonna do here is find find us a place to sit. <laughs> Try not to trip. Yeah, I've been tripping over everything. We're just gonna run us a little small bead across here, just something to kind of help it hold on place. This stuff stinks. <laughs> I can smell it over here. It has a very unique smell to it. I thought it was you though, so I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Hold that for me and just yeah. say it. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit more on this other side. Bolts. There was one bolt in that water pump I threw down there, right here. Okay. That bottom bolt. Here you go. I'll get your other ones for you. Get it in the right spot right here. Got a short one? A short one? Yeah. Okay. So 
make sure you got it in the right spot. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, the long one goes on the right side, I think. That's a killer on the tall man's back being mm -hmm. stooped over. One more short one. Last one. <laughs> that was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, probably easiest thing we've done today. <laughs> Makes the car look a little better, don't it? Oh, yeah. As long as it'll run a little better now. Should be a 9 16 I think. No, I guess it was this half. <laughs> I just wanted to chase a socket that I had in my hand. <laughs> Where you at? Learning anything? Oh yeah, learning she's at least, at least a dollar more than what she would have been. She's before. worth a little bit more yeah. now. <laughs> so it's worth at least what this water oh, yeah. pump costs. So yeah. The five dollar tube of RTV we had to buy. <laughs> That's at least six dollars. <laughs> So you're learning how to negotiate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Won't take any less than 50 cents, though. <laughs> Get a one last snug on this. And that should have our water pump done. Correctly? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to get us home, hopefully. Oops. Fingers crossed. something. I don't know where that one went to. Oh, it was from in here. I think it's been inside this the whole time. <laughs> so that's got that on there. We'll go ahead and uh, there's a box somewhere that's got the thermostat. How are y'all doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good. I'm Christy. I work for Jody. Okay. Is at the yes, ma'am. Yeah. Just checking, making sure. Uh, moving oh, okay. Right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, sorry it's taking us a little longer. Uh, we asked him about filming it to get it up and going, and then the, we had brake issues, and then we got hot on us, so we're putting a water pump. We'll have it out of your hair today, though. <laughs> You're not bothering us. I just, somebody called because we had a horse out over there, so I went to get that, and I just, I saw her, and I was mm -hmm. like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. All righty. All right. Well, it's a pretty day to have to yes. do this. <laughs> yes, ma'am, it sure is. Thank you. All righty. Well, we didn't go to jail. <laughs> so, yeah, we should have another box. I may not have grabbed it out of the truck yet, though. Let me go grab this housing and get okay. that pop put on there. There they are. <laughs> so, I don't know how well our cameras picked any of that up, but uh, we want to give a super big thanks to SRS Auctions for allowing us to come out here and uh, try to revive this old girl. Uh, I think it was something I told him we were going to try to knock out in a day and just one thing led into another and well you guys know if you've been following <laughs> this we've had a few issues so uh, hopefully we'll get this all bolted together pretty soon. I don't know what time it is we'll be running out of daylight around five so uh, we got to beat that but hopefully everything goes back together pretty well and get her on the road and back to Bogota this <laughs> time. Looks the same. It's up a it's lot a better shape. <laughs> one thing I'm going to have to do is plug this one off or mm -hmm. uh, something. You want to put some silicone on that? On which part? This end part? No. Or, oh, on the, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure I'm doing this right. On this, then put it down. Yep, so just put it on one side kind of thin like I did and then okay. put it down and then we'll do it on the other side too. Yeah, I'm not going to run this thermostat in there, that way it'll... No restriction, it'll just let it flow as it goes. I 
figure out because this hose I might be able to cut it down and reuse it mainly stopped up on the ends figure that out once we get there I think I got it for you. Right. Hopefully it wasn't too much. No, that's good. Get that out of the way. It's almost... and that just seals it off better? Yeah, it just kind of helps it. Helps hold the gasket in place more than anything. But... Okay, there should be one that's kind of long. Longer one. There's one in the corner up there. So Christian, normally there's a little piece that goes inside here called a thermostat, and the thermostat is what uh, kind of measures your temperature and decides when to let water flow in and out of your radiator. So the thermostat helps you build up heat quicker so when in the winter time, you know, your motor will warm up quicker and then mm -hmm. you've got a heater in the winter time, which we have no heater obviously, right. we have no uh, nothing on this. So we're wanting, we don't want heat. <laughs> At this point, we wanted to run as cool as possible. So we didn't put the thermostat inside of it. We're just putting the housing. So now water will just flow, okay. flow through it naturally. Cool. All righty. So that's got that. Throw this pulley back on, our belt. So we're gonna be needing our fan All pretty right. soon. I was just about to ask, I'll get it for you. Get this back in the way so I can't see anything. <laughs> we don't cut our arms every three seconds. <laughs> you know, I've heard stories of some of these things coming loose, oh, gosh. flying up through the hood and sticking. <laughs> yeah, I've never. Our luck. Yeah. You want to tighten it? Or yeah, you want I can. me to? Yeah, I can. Yeah, so, so you want to see it fly off? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Should do that. Just keep tightening them up in there. I'm going to go decide on this hose if it's salvageable at all to run from here to there. I think I can reuse this hose. It was just stopped up in the ends of it. Long, ain't they? A little bit, my goodness. <laughs> Put that you changed the water pump on your resume. Yeah. You've upgraded from brakes to windshield. Windshields to coolant systems. You'll be building cars before you know it. You just ain't got your first busted knuckle yet, though. That's probably nope. pretty good. Get that out on there. Okay. 
to me go. Yeah, let's see if I can get this hose wrap back around here. All right, we're getting close. I ran some water through that radiator uh, best I could, just some old jugs we had. So mm -hmm. it, it, other than the acorns that were in the bottom of it, however they got there, it doesn't seem terrible. It should flow. Okay. It's got that and that. Got that. I guess we'll try to get this uh, belt and power steering pump back in place. Okay. I guess we're not going to replace the belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Let me get where you're at real okay. quick. Got it on there? Almost. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Figure out how it all goes back together now. Yeah. Once we get this power steering pump bolted back in place, throw that radiator on there and a few hoses and fill it up and see what we got. Got it going? Yeah, I got one last little bolt here. And then we'll, I guess you can go ahead and walk that uh, radiator over here. Yeah. Pretty much at that point. Just her out back on. I don't remember which was the top or bottom. I guess it goes like that. Trying to make sure we got everything situated. Flat blade screwdriver, Christian. Yeah, here you go. Oh, this hose is attacking my head. <laughs> that runs over there kind of behind the uh, headlight area. Okay. Just an overflow. There's some uh, antifreeze uh -huh. in the back of my truck, two yeah. jugs. Go ahead and grab, um, Grab uh, one of them. Okay. Should work on that. Got this ran. Uh, I'll have to put this upper hose on there and then we've got one over there we'll mm -hmm. fill up in inside here okay. once I get this all pieced back together and then we'll have to put that plate that on the top that you took off there okay I don't know how we have that go grab that getting close you have to tell dad you want to raise <laughs> You're going to take his job. I'm sure he'd much rather be here. Got all the boats still together? Uh-huh. Are we going to have to go on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> Make sure this is out of the way. And I think that plate, you can go ahead and start okay. putting it back on there. that in place. Just that rubber kind of keeps yeah. it from 
kind of hard to mess with. You got it right. Oh, did? Yeah. Okay. Just try to get this other transmission line hooked up while you're doing that. See what we're doing time wise. 3.44, it'll be dark by, by almost five, honestly. So mm -hmm. we got about a little over an hour. Rooster's crowing. Going all right. Mm -hmm. May not even have any extra bolts. That'll be good. Be a miracle. <laughs> Give you a hand. to the middle. Not getting tight. The bottom may be stripped out. Probably is. Oh, there it goes. All right. We need that uh, blue blue jug over there. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and start filling her up. All the way. Yep. Think I'll take the whole jug? Yeah, or? I'll take the whole thing. this up a little bit more make sure there ain't no leaks all right you can leave that jug there and i'll pull her this water in there okay all right now just pour that in there okay <laughs> if you start seeing it getting close in there we okay. call it good Probably take quite a bit though, there was nothing in the system. Almost empty? Almost. Oh, we're good, we're good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Alright. We gotta hurry because we gotta let this thing run long enough to make sure it's working right. right. So I'm gonna give you these tools and I'll grab a battery and start. Okay. See if I can get it to crank. <laughs> so now that we've got some coolant put back into this system, I'm gonna throw a battery on it real quick. Uh, hopefully she's still gonna fire up. We had dad come out here and put a Ziploc bag over the carburetor to keep from rain and stuff getting down into it. So uh, hopefully she'll fire on up. Maybe we can see it circulating a little better than we did last time. As long as everything looks to be going okay, let it sit here and idle. Might try to drive it around a lot once or twice. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the road before it gets dark on us. Fingers crossed she runs. Yeah. Well, she'll run. I just don't know how long. <laughs> Speak too soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely flowing. Uh -huh. It sucked the water down big time. We're gonna need to put some more in it. Okay. She's 
thirsty. That's good, though. That's flowing around, I'll tell you. <laughs> you said that's good. No, that's good. It doesn't take much. Well, the we'll letter set a little bit. On top off the gas. I'll grab some gas. All right. Okay. I'll probably go ahead and try to drive it around here just a little bit. Yeah. I think she's gonna be all right, but I said that last time too. All right. <laughs> this time. Make sure I got plenty of gas everywhere. <laughs> yeah, like, All right. Good. Let's pick up some stuff around here while it lets it warm up. All right, guys, we got some uh, cooling inside of it. It is definitely circulating through there now. When we cranked it up, it took a big old gulp, so we were able to add a little bit more on to top it off. Uh, seems to be okay, but we haven't ran it very long. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just try to drive it around the lot just here a little bit. Maybe let it run five or 10 minutes. The sun's already going down pretty quick and I don't wanna be on the road with no lights with this thing, especially if it does decide to give us problems. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch up some cameras Try to drive it around here once or twice. Maybe go ahead and hit the road and just uh, hope for the best. Let's see what she does here. Running out of daylight so fast. So we won't get to check her out too much. The brakes are still working. super muddy out here, so I don't want to get stuck. Yeah, it's really swampy. <laughs> Make a good little mud bog, though. I don't want to rut the guy's yard all up. I don't want to rut his yard all up. I think maybe we should just try to get go on home before we run out of daylight. <laughs> It'll either do it or it won't. We have to move a bunch of junk. Oh, oh great! I got the messy seat. <laughs> all right, lovely place you have. <laughs> well. I guess we're ready. Seatbelts, everyone. I really wish I could check it out a little bit more, but she'll tell us real quick. I think it's going to be all right. Here we go again, girl. What time is it? It is. 4.46. I'm on brakes. Can you spin out? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Well, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put her to the test right off the bat. <laughs> I guess that's what you got to do sometimes when you're fighting the sun. Somewhere close up to here, we started seeing some smoke, I think. Yeah. 
off my back now on the gas we got in that little old time. Yeah. Looks like we're a little over half of what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I'll let you be my gas gauge then. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Listen to the radio. Think you got enough signal to go live on YouTube? I probably do. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool to go live while we're driving her home anyways. Yeah. As long as everything <laughs> keeps going well. Definitely going to need a set of tires on this thing. One of them's got a knot or something. <laughs> Thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. too much further to go. I don't know what I'm trying to act like I'm looking at gauges or something that ain't there. Oh, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, well, you probably guess what we're doing. <laughs> trying to drive the old pacer home, so I'm going to let her talk a little bit. Show me your floorboard. It's rough. It is rough, rough. <laughs> So, uh, Dad had to work at the city today, so we went ahead and just me and Christian uh, took after this water pump. See if we could get it on there. We're almost halfway home, so uh, we just wanted to throw this live video up so you could join in with us on the ride in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> so far, so good. If we blow up, y'all be the first to know. We got Christian checking our gas gauge over there, so the gas tank's up front there. We're Fair getting about... Now halfway down or so. I have a few, few people saying, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, y'all will get to be part of the episode, hopefully. All you can see is me and being the sun trying. <laughs> <laughs> Try and move it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> we lose the signal? I think we lost signal. Alright guys, sorry. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> See you on the episode. Yeah, that's the bad thing about out here in the middle of nowhere. You ain't got hardly any signal. I'm sure everyone's going to think we must have broke down. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably scared because it's done down going. <laughs> Our little GoPro out front's dancing, so I ain't no telling what the time lapse will look like. Yeah. 
I think we got it, got it made that yeah. way. Yeah, it's getting pretty close, so fingers crossed. Four or five more miles, we'll probably make it on in. We made it, but a few more blocks. We'll be there. Moment of truth. <laughs> She's got it. I guess you're a certified water pump technician now. Mm -hmm. Well, get her back at the shop, try to get her all washed up, mm -hmm. throw that hood back on it. I think she'll clean up pretty good on the outside. Oh, yeah. This inside, nah. <laughs> Nah, I have faith on the inside. I'll let you try to work a little magic on cleaning it up, baby. Yeah, that's fine by me. I think that's what it's going to take is magic. Mm -hmm. My dad will be pretty surprised and happy to see her at the shop yeah. tomorrow. I know I'm sure glad. He'll be shocked that we both worked together to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't make it blow up. Well, we still got another block for that <laughs> to happen. Well, good job. <laughs> we made it on in. Mm -hmm. Without hitchhiking. Or even running out of gas. Yeah, that was... <laughs> it was still got quite a bit. Poor little GoPro's done turned almost all the way around. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's try to go gather up some stuff before we run out of light. Okay. Get started in tomorrow. Uh, I might have to have you let me out because I don't have a door handle over here. <laughs> <laughs>
Well guys, it's super exciting to know that we finally made it back to the shop with this old girl. Uh, she's running and driving about as well as you might expect of a car that's set up for 20 years and you got running out in the field. Now she's still going to have a whole lot of kinks that need to be worked out of her to make her a daily driver. Uh, we basically just spent as little as we possibly could to get her up and back to the shop again now. Put a little elbow grease into it just to make her clean up a little bit. Tried to vacuum out the inside where you at least don't feel afraid to have to set into this car. I definitely have to say she's not the cleanest nor the best running car around here, but she does have a character and a style of her own. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. Well guys, thanks for watching the show. We really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, now we're going to give you the details on how you could possibly enter to win this 1976 AMC Pacer or $500 cash. So to enter in, all you've got to do is simply be subscribed to this Restored channel and comment in the comments below, subscribe. That'll enter you in for a chance to win. We're also offering up some new merch with some new Restored Logo t-shirts. So if you're interested in one of those, that'll gain you another 10 entries to possibly win this car or this cash. To find these shirts, go to www.berestored.com. They're $25 and every shirt purchase will enter you for another 10 chances to win this 76 Pacer or $500 cash. We'll announce the winner when we reach A, 60,000 subscribers, B, sell 100 new shirts, or C, reach 500,000 views within the combined three-part series of this Pacer. So remember, there's no purchase necessary to enter for this car. Simply be subscribed to the channel, comment subscribe, and it enters you for free. Be sure to check out the description of this video where you're going to get more details and all the fine print that go along with this giveaway. We hope you enjoyed the show and can't wait to show you what we got going on next.